I'm here with Panos Buklis from European Dynamics in Greece and Adam Schmidt from the Technical University of Munich and we will talk uh, with them about the HORSE project. So, first question for Panos, could you please describe the project in three sentences? Mm -hmm. uh, I would uh, better use three phrases to describe uh, HORSE. So that would be flexible manufacturing, uh, collab collaborative workspaces and manufacturing SMEs. Thank you for that quick description. And what do you think are the main objectives of HORSE? Uh, the main objectives of HORSE are uh, twofold. So on the one hand, we build a technology platform to help the SMEs uh, have flexible manufacture, monitor their production, and uh, use robotics in uh, their production. And on the other hand, we support the SMEs uh, with uh, computer centers that give them advice and consulting on uh, adopting robotic solutions. So, um, in HORSE, and that's a question for Adam, you also established a network of four robotic competence centers. So, what are the main user groups of the centers and how can the users of the centers benefit from them? Okay, so our main user groups are SMEs from mostly our regions. The goal is to give them opportunity to actually experience robotics, see what they can do with that, get some consulting, both technological and non-technological. And that's, that's the people we want to attract. You mentioned non-technological services, so what exactly do you mean by that? Initially, we thought that the competence centers should be based around the technological support. In the end, we thought that it's better to support SMEs with everything that they may need. So it's also consulting in terms of legal stuff, economical advice, sometimes IPR management. That's something that we did not foresee in the beginning, but it turned out that Everyone has local partners that can support that. And I would say that we fall in the line of the transformation between competence centers and digital innovation hubs. That is truly fascinating, uh, especially because um, digital innovation hubs are the next big thing in robotics in Europe. And uh, so you also mentioned SMEs. So where do you see the major challenges when it comes to the uptake of robotics technology by SMEs? Actually, that's one of the things that motivated us to slightly switch our focus because it turns out that, of course, technology is extremely important. But the main thing that you need to do is to actually convince SMEs that they need robotics or that the robotics is trustworthy and can bring them benefits, not only the costs. Mm -hmm. So I would say the major obstacle is to convince them that it's worth it. Regarding future development, out of course you will also fund further experiments, so small-scale research projects that are receiving funding out of the HORSE project. So what do you expect from these experiments? Basically, we want to test our framework in as many areas as possible. The development has been user-driven from the very beginning. We have three pilots in our core consortium that helped us to define the requirements and the functionalities that we need. But now we want to have large-scale tests. We want to involve actual end users from different areas. And of course, we want them to develop new components from the f for the framework and to build the community around it. So our final question is, apart from the experiments, what are the next steps in the project? Uh, right now, we are intensively working on uh, deploying the pilot experiments. Uh, and uh, also, uh, our open calls have uh, recently closed. So we will uh, further validate and evaluate the technology framework that was developed in HORSE. We will further work uh, for one year to improve the technology developed in HORSE and uh, of course report all the results for further technological developments and uh, the further establishment of uh, new competence centers. Thank you very much, Panos and Adam. Panos Buglis uh, from European Dynamics in Greece and Adam Schmidt from the Technical University of Munich. And we were talking with them about the HORSE project.